I don't know about you guys, but I really don't care for football. But in comes an article that piqued my interest. The NFL needs to speak out against the Kansas City Chiefs fan in blackface, native headdress. Immediately after reading the headline, I noticed that the, the evil, disgusting Kansas City Chief fan is actually a nine-year-old boy. Now you're probably thinking, what this kid is being accused of sounds an awful lot like Confederate Colin. And you'd be right, but this kid was not, in fact, wearing blackface. Because if you look at another picture, you can clearly see see that if you tilt the head slightly to the right, he's merely dressing up as his favorite football team. Unless, of course, the kid woke up that day and said, I'm only feeling half racist today. And I'm assuming the face paint is not intended to be blackface. So, the journalist that went gun-ho on a prepubescent boy is a grown-ass man named Karen J. Phillips, a journalist who works for Deadspin. He originally posted a picture of just the black side of the kid's face, and I have to assume that was intentional. Because there's no way that this journalist, who also commentates on sports, forgot one of the other major colors of the Chiefs. I mean, I said this at the beginning, I don't give a single shit about football, but even I know that diehard fans like to paint their faces the team's colors. In Karen's own words, he found a way to hate black people and Native Americans at the same time. This is what happens when you ban books, stand against critical race theory, and try to erase centuries of hate. You give future generations the ammunition they need to evolve and recreate racism better than before. Yes, the, the many centuries of racism has evolved into this little nine-year-old boy who not only hates black people, but apparently hates Native Americans too. I mean, what in the goddamn shit are you even talking about? Like, yeah, all those book burnings around the world caused this little boy to pull a Jimmy Kimmel. Nice detective work. What's funny to me is that, uh, doing a little more digging, I found out that this this evil bigoted racist Ku Klux kid has Native American descent so I guess he hates his own race and as a bonus black people are thrown in there too. I'd show you a screenshot of the reading but coincidentally after Phillips got backlash there was an update to the article that has now been deleted. <laughs> I'm sorry it's been updated and the crazy shit this guy was spewing has been deleted. What I have recovered though is a tweet posted by Karen doubling down on his bullshit and just going full-on schizo. For the idiots in my mentions who are treating this as some harmless act because the other side of his face was painted red, I could make the argument that it makes it even worse. Hmm. Yeah, let, let's link this over and choose the more probable and realistic answer. So in the first scenario, we have a third grader choosing to wear the colors of his favorite football team. Or it could be the second scenario, where the third grader came up with an elaborate scheme to express his racist beliefs towards black people and Native Americans by painting his face black and red at a football game. Gee, I wonder what his actual intentions were. This also doesn't make sense to me because you saw the red on the other side, yet you only called out the headdress he wore. So if the red on his face was actually bad to begin with, why wasn't it included in your false blackface rant? So after Carrot Fucknut opens up one of the dumbest conspiracies I've ever heard, he then ends his response with, Y'all are the ones who hate Mexicans but wear sombreros on Cinco de Mayo. Who are you even talking to? Because last time I checked, this is a response to all the backlash you're receiving and not a specific person. Did I miss something? Did everyone just jump in the replies and just talk about how much they hate Mexicans and they love wearing sombreros at the same time? You remind me of one of those weirdos who imagines a manifestation of someone that disagrees with all their opinions and then yells at themselves in the shower. No one is calling you out because they hate Mexicans. We're calling you out because you're an unhinged moron. Uh, who are you to share an opinion on this matter, Whitey? I'm sorry, but putting a nine-year-old kid on blast for wearing blackface when that was never the intent and the blackface is not even blackface is objectively stupid. I can understand calling out this fit for being tone deaf, maybe, even though the kid has Native American heritage, so who the fuck am I to say whether he can wear that or not? But to actually believe this kid had some sort of racist intentions wearing that makeup, be fucking real. Thankfully the parents aren't letting this slide by rejecting any apology from Deadspin and are threatening to sue.